皆さん、こんにちは。This is Matt Okohara from the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps, and in this upload, we're going to examine one of the lesser known conflicts of the feudal era of Japan called the Mito Rebellion. The Mito Rebellion occurred between May 1864 and January 1865. And although it was a short lived conflict, it was a precursor to significant societal change. This conflict is of particular significance to the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps, as samurai gunners were dispatched from the Matsumoto domain to meet the Mito force. Allied with a force from the Suwa clan, the joint Matsumoto and Suwa force scored a significant victory in favour of the shogun. But first, let's discuss what caused the conflict. The Mito Rebellion, or Kanto Insurrection as it is sometimes known, was an uprising of pro imperial forces in the Mito domain. In 1864, the anti shogunate forces in what is now Ibaraki Prefecture advocated political change in favour of an imperial system with the emperor as the head of a government. This, of course, is a major departure from the feudal system that had been in place since the early 1600s. Pro imperial forces were worried about the easing of restrictions regarding foreign relations in Japan. With the arrival of foreign vessels into Japanese waters, Tokugawa Nariaki The daimyo of Mito sought to make political change. This created conflict and tension in his domain, especially among the more conservative factions who were staunchly in favour of the shogunate. As a result of these concerns, Nariaki was forced to stand down as daimyo of Mito by the shogun in 1844. However, he was recalled to politics and diplomacy owing to the arrival of Commodore Perry and his black ships in 1853. The shogun's chief advisor, Abe Masahiro, specifically requested Nariaki in order to assess and respond to the unexpected and heavily armed squadron of foreign vessels that had entered Japanese water. His return to politics and his pro imperial stance caused tensions not only in the shogunate court but also within his home province of Mito. More and more samurai were interested in what he had to say. With the rallying cry, Revere the Emperor, expel the barbarian, it seemed to many in the shogunate court that an insurrection could be brewing. This caused the shogun's chief minister, Inaosuke, to exercise his authority and attempt to crush pro imperial reformists by political and violent means. Before long, the shogunate attributed the political and diplomatic difficulties they were facing towards Tokugawa Nariaki and the Mito domain. As a result, the province was burdened by unfavorable treatment by the shogunate. Eventually, 16 samurai from the province assassinated Inaosuke. This was known as the Sakura Damon incident. On a snowy morning on the 24th of March 1860, the samurai took it upon themselves to end Inaosuke's life. Coincidentally, Nariaki died not long after. Whether this was by natural causes or assassination is open to debate. With Inaosuke out of the picture, many of his duties were passed to Ando Nobumasa. This minister from the imperial court was charged with ensuring that the Mito domain did not rebel. However, he lacked the determination and political support that his predecessor had had. Unable to suppress pro imperial sentiment in Mito, this culminated in the Mito Rebellion in May 
Takeda Kōnsai, now at the head of the pro-imperial forces, led his insurgent group comprising of hundreds of samurai to Kyoto in order to request that the shogun follow the principles of Son no Joi, revere the emperor, expel the barbarians. In response, on the 17th of June 1864, the shogun mobilized his own forces in order to quell the uprising. Initially unsuccessful, the shogun ordered other daimyo from the Kanto region to support his attempts to crush the rebellion. This order included Matsudaira Mitsuhisa, the daimyo of Matsumoto Domain. It also included the daimyo of Suwa province, Suwa Tadamasa. In December 1864, in the Wada Valley, a joint force of Matsumoto and Suahan fought against the Mitohan force. Both sides deployed gunners in their forces and many casualties were taken on both sides. At this time, most pro-shogunate forces were equipped as you've seen in this upload. The samurai were still expected to respond to the needs of their daimyo. And despite emerging western technologies, the matchlock gun was still the weapon of choice on the battlefield. The pro-shogunate forces were eventually victorious and the battle is recorded by Tosan Shimazaki. His book, entitled Before the Dawn, recorded the Battle of the Wada Valley and it highlighted the important tactical role that gunners played during the conflict. By January 1865, the rebellion had ended. The shogunate sought closure to this insurrection by beheading 354 insurgents. This included Takeda Konsai and all of his retainers. Over 100 of the samurai rebels died in captivity. And for many decades afterwards, leading up to the Meiji Restoration, the Mito Domain faced significant political and social unrest. It is worth remembering that during this time, Japan itself was going through a lot of political and social unrest as well. Partly this led to the Kanto insurrection, otherwise known as the Mito Rebellion. The arrival of foreign powers had disturbed what was essentially a closed country. The shogun was now forced to deal with not only domestic matters, but international matters as well. The Japanese feudal system did not allow for this so the samurai appointed to oversee international relations were essentially learning on the job. They had no education or experience in diplomacy. In addition, they did not understand the political systems of the European and American powers. So as well as responding to international politics, the ruling elite of Japan had to educate themselves in international politics as well. With domestic unease and international uncertainty, the Mito Rebellion is seen by many as the catalyst that led to the Boshin War. I hope you've enjoyed this upload about the Mito Rebellion. This is a lesser known but nonetheless very interesting part of Japanese feudal history. It was not just the Warring States era that saw samurai battles in Japan. The country itself has a very rich feudal history. So don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can find out more about Japanese feudal history and the role of the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps in the past.